Hey, peace, power, and protection, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to your bonus reading, beloveds. How will everyone is blissed, feeling amazing on this Saturn's day. I will, your strong end is going to be enjoyable, restful, and even exciting, adventurous. Do some things. Go out and get some fresh air. Uh, I don't know how fresh the air is going to be, to be honest. The air quality has been poor here in North Carolina. Um, it's been very hazy. I had up, did, uploaded a picture yesterday. The sun was like blood orange. It was absolutely phenomenal to witness. I was just, I've never seen that before. And so when I did a little bit of research, they were saying due to uh, the Canadian wildfires, all of the smoke, it that's what was causing, um, you know, the color of the sun to, you know, be orange and, and uh, as vibrant as it was. So I didn't really know that prior to taking that pity that picture but it was just it was amazing to see it was absolutely um it was a phenomenal thing to see everybody was out you know i had to uh, stop by the gas station and my daughter was coming out of the store i didn't even see it because i was facing the opposite direction of the sun uh the way that i was parked and my daughter was like pointing and i'm like what is she pointing at? and so i got out of the car and that's when i saw it and i was like oh my goodness so yes so there was that there's always something going on. You know, we got this uh, full moon coming up on Tuesday. Uh, that is a super moon. So this is a powerful, powerful energy to work with as well. Uh, we also have Neptune. Neptune is going retrograde. So Neptune will, when it's retrograde, there should be those breakout moments where you're seeing things clearer. So, you know, you're gaining more clarity. You're seeing things uh, more crystal clear, so to speak. So if there were any uh, certain decisions that you were trying to make and you found it difficult to do that, uh, perhaps during this retrograde that's upcoming, um, that's coming up in July, it will definitely, um, it will ease some of that, that confusion or some of that conflict between, uh, or indecision even between making a decision between one thing or another, or even if it's not a thing you're making a decision of, maybe it's, it's something that you are trying to better understand. I feel like you will gain that understanding when Neptune goes retrograde, but I digress. How are we doing beloveds? How is everyone feeling? I will you all are feeling amazing. There's been so much going on. I can't keep up. And, you know, I like to try to to post whenever there's things going on just to keep you all abreast. If you're not privy to the information, uh, life has been moving lightning speed for me. It always is because I'm. You know, I'm just the type of person I can't sit still. I, I get bored quickly. <laughs> I, I, I don't like to feel like I'm not, you know, meeting my fullest potential. So I'm always mastering myself, you know, in some way or another. So I'm just kind of busy. I got a lot of little different things going on. As I'm sure you all are. Scorpio is just, we, we, we're not perfectionists, but we like things to be in order. We're, we're very structured individuals and we can multitask. I mean, you know, I, I'm the type of person when I'm cleaning, I'm cleaning like three, four rooms in one at one time. Like, it's funny. I think I got that from my grandmother because that's how my grandmother used to be. It's like everything gets cleaned at the same time. It's funny. Um, so I just got finished doing like, you know, after the, the summer solstice, I like to take those, um, those pivotal moments in time to like do deep cleanses in my home and feng shui and you know smudge and um so that's what i've i was doing you know for uh <laughs> for a little bit is just getting rid of things you don't realize how much stuff you accumulate and um i like to just take things and give it away opposed to selling it on offer up or reselling things repurposing things i just give it away take it uh, you know some things i give away still have tags on them. <laughs> you know what i'm talking about like uh you know here take it it's yours i don't i don't need it you know it's just the thing but um i digress so i've been very busy doing that 
But I will you all are feeling blissed and 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 feeling stronger in yourselves and really starting to, you know, prioritize you and doing the things you love, doing the things that you feel very motivated to do. So um, we're going to delve in. We're going to see what's coming and going out, going on, uh, even take a peek on what's hidden. You know, I kind of want to take a peek about, you know, take a peek at what may be hidden behind the scenes. Uh, anything you may need to know. We're going to dive into that. Um, for anyone that may be new, welcome. My name is Q. I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath and I'm also a clear audience. So during my readings, I play music in the way that it works. The name of the song, lyrics within the song, maybe even the artist, the timestamp on the clock even. It will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what the cards show. And it all just blends beautifully. Uh, so my spiel here is eat the fish, spit out the bones. Meaning if the reading doesn't apply... Just let it fly by, let it go, let it flow. Do not try to force anything. Uh, just take what, what does resonate and just leave uh, what doesn't. Uh, my readings are also timeless, so whenever this video finds you, whenever you felt compelled to click play, that was, of course, divine timing and in divine order that you've done so, beloveds. Um, I'm hearing a train off in the distance, so I don't know if some of you will be traveling. Um, it is summer solstice, it's summertime, so a lot of people start booking vacations. A lot of people start traveling out of the country, even across the country, um, you know, taking their children to, to ride playland. I don't even know if that's a thing. Coney Island, you know, those are my New Yorkers. Or maybe you're going to Great Adventures. Maybe you're going down to Florida, you know, um, California. But I, I just get a sense of like travel, you know, being at a distance. Uh, perhaps maybe you're traveling to see loved ones you haven't seen in a while. Maybe there's some sort of family reunion that's going on. Uh, but I do feel like, you know, there's going to be travel, um, and there's going to be, I'm hearing celebrations, I'm hearing partying, I'm hearing carnivals. Um, so maybe you're just, you know, just, just enjoying life, doing recreational things to entertain your children uh, for the summertime. So, you know, and I'm hearing booking flights. So some of you may be booking some flights so that you can, um, you know, go and attend some of these family uh, reunions or some of these occasions. Maybe there's like a, a beloved grandmother or grandfather or uh, an uncle or auntie like a matriarch or patriarch in your family who's turning like a hundred um and the whole family is gathering to celebrate that beloved um that beloved elder in the family so it's like everyone's coming from a distance to to celebrate life to celebrate that elders um solar return so i'm getting a sense of that like unions coming together so that's beautiful so we're going to go ahead and proceed with the read that's just what i'm picking up intuitively um so we're going to go ahead uh and do some house cleaning <laughs> so let's do that <laughs> I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, ain't <laughs> spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother, guy, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful powerful message of love and of light. Mm -hmm. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So the first thing I thought of was beware of distractions. I got, I got twisted as I was saying my prayer. And, and, and that doesn't happen. So I feel like, and then that, that car or that motorcycle just went by and it was very loud. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting a sense of like, be mindful of distractions. Be mindful not to get distracted, not to get sidetracked, not to get duped, you know? Um, because as I'm saying this prayer, this is something that I've said so much, it's, it's memorized. And I was getting, I was stumbling on my words. So, and then that loud noise came by and it almost tripped me up again. 
And it did, actually. It tripped me up at the end of the prayer. So just be mindful of distractions, you know, uh, because that that just made me feel like there was something that, that was something different. You know, it wasn't just a car going by. I felt like that was like it was almost like something was just intentionally trying to pull my attention from here to there. So so it's uh, what time is it on the clock? So it is currently 1032. 1032 on the clock and I believe that's when we started the last reading if I'm not mistaken 1032 so that reduces to um, That reduces to six So it's uh, that's your first eye. So trust your intuition because I feel like someone may come back um, Someone from your past because the six is also like the six of cups This could be someone returning from your past and you know as I was just saying how you have all of this celestial energy going on, namely Neptune is going retrograde. And I was speaking of how you can gain some sort of clarity now when it comes to a particular um, decision that you're making. Uh, I definitely feel like um, there is something perhaps looming that tries to distract you which has made it very difficult perhaps for you to make it the right decision maybe there's someone constantly in your ear you know planting seeds of doubt maybe there's someone around you uh that could be you know speaking ill of something that you're trying to pursue or maybe there's someone that is intentionally trying to make you question uh some particular decision or choice that you're making so just be mindful of that it is um we have um <clears throat> boys this boys to men excuse me i got the hiccups i gotta take some more but this is called please don't go so this could be a masculine with this boys to men um maybe someone is is does and there goes that noise again there's noise again you know it, it's a very interesting how all these different sounds, these distracting noises. Give me one moment. So perhaps there's someone that doesn't want you to leave because this name of this song is Please Don't Go. So perhaps this is someone and I was getting a sense of, you know, this being someone from your past. So maybe this is someone that you may have cut ties from. Maybe this is someone that you have not spoken to in a while because the train was going by and I was getting a sense of even distance, being at a distance. So maybe you've created a certain distance from someone because maybe they were immature and you want, you know, you, you wanted someone to present a mature version of themselves opposed to this childlike behavior so maybe you were dealing with someone that was like immature someone childish um even if it's a, not like you know childish per se maybe emotionally uh they were very immature very very mm, unrefined <laughs> you know what i'm saying and so it's like and with please don't go it's like maybe somebody could be coming back to distract you professing that they don't want you to leave or they don't want this, you know, this, this separation to be permanent. Um, but I feel it's just, a, it's, it's just, it's just a distraction. It's also a test. It's a test to see if you've actually learned the karmic lessons or if you're going to be repeating that karmic cycle all over again. So be mindful of that because I felt that was a distraction. Uh, and then even when I, as I was doing my prayer, it was like, you know, I was stumbling on my words and stuff. And so that's very interesting. So let's see what we have on the bottom of the deck. So we have 77 spirituality. So trust your intuition. As I've said, that seven is associated with the crown chakra. Um, whenever I see double numbers, for those of you that may be new, I always feel like this is you attracting someone or something that's on your same frequency. So perhaps that's why this distraction is coming up because it sees that you're aligning with your purpose, with your person, with your divine self, higher self, and it could be trying to distract you with spirituality. Always tap in, tune in, and trust that gut instinct, that gumption. Trust that inner wisdom, your inner compass, and that will lead you on the right path because someone doesn't want you to leave. They may return saying, please don't go. I really want this to work, but spirit is saying, trust your gut. With the seven I absolutely feel someone will be communicating with you. Um, 
because that 14 breaks down to five and that five is associated with the throat chakra so i am feeling someone will be expressing uh some some emotion to you and spirit is saying trust your intuition um trust what you're feeling you know trust what you feel uh with 19 pride i feel that whomever you're dealing with was very proud very egotistical stubborn even hard-headed and maybe they've had some sort of epiphany or a wake-up call and this is now why they could be coming back um you know apologetic saying that you know they don't want you to leave they don't want this separation to be permanent um this this 19 one is like someone wanting a fresh start uh this 14 that five and this one reduces to six and remember we just saw six six is also your first eye so use discernment in this situation but also use your first eye to see don't just uh see with your two eyes because they can deceive you see deeper your first eye is going to allow you to see beyond what that person is displaying or expressing to you and you could get straight to the source the heart of the matter so that's about like you know looking at the eyes of a person that's the windows to their soul are their eyes shifty are their eyes looking up looking left looking right is their body language uh you know and, and yes it could be nerves but you, your spirit will let you know when someone is being their authentic self opposed from when someone is just you know coming back speaking words that they really don't mean but they're really you know trying to or attempting to sabotage confuse manipulate or dominate you in some way so spirit is saying you know trust your intuition um, and use discernment because this breaks down to six someone is very proud and egotistical and I feel by you growing and evolving because the 77 breaks down to five that's the, also the hierophant which speaks to you know that that learning um, that learning curve that you go through uh, that speaks to really um, growing and maturing and um, changing for the better evolving you know even building your wealth of knowledge and someone being humbled because you have you know separated from their energy you've you've kind of created distance or established boundaries and focused on yourself that caused an ego death in another person and my throat is getting blocked so someone perhaps has something that they wish to express um <clears throat> to you and I feel like spirit is telling you trust your intuition we have Sheila E and the name of the song is called the glamorous life so maybe this person now is seeing that you know maybe the two of you could be like a power couple could have a really good life together maybe spirit is saying you deserve a glamorous life and this person uh, could be trying to distract you from obtaining that so they could be coming back and they could be someone distracting you from obtaining and achieving some sort of glamorous life or experience so be mindful of that that's why your your intuition using your intuition trusting your intuition and not doing anything unless it sits right feels right in your spirit Ashe. so that's six that's your first eye trust your intuition trust that inner gumption i'll say so let's tap in so beautiful spirit angels guides please give us a beautiful message from my beautiful scorpio so look how these cards are jumping up and i'm gonna let them come out as soon as i said beautiful spirit guides those cards chose themselves we have 67 this is physical activity so that 67 breaks down to 13 so that shows there was a death that shows there was some sort of transformation a shift or some sort of pivot in action in movement in direction i feel that this death which is literally like a graduation because someone has like risen someone has like been uh it's almost like a rebirth of sorts it's like you've been very effective and very essential in your own growth your own development your own um in your own uh ability to to um to make some sort of change you know in loving yourself even like this physical activity is showing that you're very uh conscious now to show yourself that self-love to be more patient to be more kind because that's what love really is love is patient love is kind but you have to also um love thyself in order to be patient and kind to yourself so you know this was the death maybe in the past you you weren't displaying that love you weren't giving yourself that you know that um patience 
You weren't as patient, not even with, with others. But now you're making a more concerted effort to, to be all of that, not only to yourself, but to others. So with physical activity, I just see that that just speaks to the work that you've done, you know, in, in, in layman's term. And that four is associated with the heart ch chakra. So I do feel like there's uh, perhaps even, you know, this, this very uh, strong effort to heal, to restore, um, to grow, to evolve after going through some sort of ending, after going through the demise of a relationship. And we have um, our, um, Patty LaBelle, and it's called Love, Need, and Want You. So, you know, and that, um, it's 1042 on the clock, that's seven. And remember, we just saw that seven, seven spirituality card. So that seven is your crown yet again. So someone may come back professing their love and their desire and their need because they love you and they want you. Um, and they may show some sort of effort. Maybe someone will uh, come in. This doesn't have to be. This could be someone, you know, that you know um, that really, wow, we got forgiveness underneath that. And spirit is saying someone has changed. Someone has obviously, and there goes 44 environment. This is someone you're familiar with, someone that you have planted seeds, roots in, you know, a nucleus with in the past. Uh, maybe this could be like a friend. Maybe this is someone you used to work with. This always gives me the sense of like the eight of pentacles. I always get that. But if you look, this is four, four. Those are both um, double numbers. So I do feel like this is someone who's been working on themselves, especially in the heart chakra and you as well. So it's like you're attracting a like mind. And that could be why spirit is telling you um, to trust your intuition because maybe there will be a couple of people approaching you. And Spirit is saying that there's only one person that you need to focus on. Uh, this person is going to be rushing in because this is um, 8 and this is 8. And that breaks down to 16, which breaks down to 7. So that's the chariot. But that 7 is also your first eye. So this is really saying, like, trust your intuition when it comes to someone that could be rushing in. I feel like someone's coming in very confidently, very assertively. And they will be professing or confessing something in terms of their desire to be with you. Uh, these fours is showing, like, healing. So this is, like, I feel someone different. Um, because I, when I see this green, this is a solid green card, which makes me feel like this person has absolutely been working on themselves growing. That's why that physical activity card is here, because it just shows that there was an effort, a great effort to change, a great effort to evolve, to become better, um, and to heal more importantly. And also that someone genuinely uh, will love you because they've learned to love themselves. Uh, we also have this forgiveness. So I feel like this is you know, perhaps something that you were able to, um, you were able to grow and evolve because you started to forgive. Forgiveness is for you. When you harbor and hold on to resentment, animosity, and anger, those things hold you back. They don't allow you to blossom and bloom and grow um, and even evolve, you know. So it feels as if like this is showing that because you've done this work to forgive someone, sometimes, oftentimes, people look for uh, closure, you know, when there's a breakup or when there's a separation. And, you know, when you're holding someone else accountable uh, for your own healing, you'll never heal. Because sometimes, when you're expecting someone to come back and give you the closure, um, it's like you're you're literally um, anchoring yourself because maybe this person doesn't have that ability or have that 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 sensibility or that emotional intelligence to identify the wrong that they've done. So they may be just like strong and wrong, and and you're sitting here waiting for them to have some sort of epiphany of the hurt and you know the hurt that they've caused or the pain that they've caused, and and you're just sitting and waiting and waiting and waiting and wasting time and and all you need to do is forgive those who've done you wrong and that frees you from any type of um emotional connection when you cut those emotional ties with someone or those soul ties with someone you have to first forgive um when you don't, those soul ties exist and you're anchored. You never can grow or evolve or ascend or even heal for that matter because you're still resentful 
towards that person that caused you pain. So this shows that you, you finally had some sort of death. You finally had some sort of, um, you know, death of trying to, to hold someone else accountable, uh, for your, your healing process. This 13, that four and the six, that's the end of you looking to someone else to perhaps own up, confess, uh, you know, fess up to something that they've done to you or to apologize or to give you the closure. You have to close the door, the chapter, cut the soul ties on your own. And you do just that because you begin to make those necessary changes. You start to grow. You may have gone to a pastor, a preacher, a master teacher, a healer, a shaman, a light worker, an elder, a master, uh, you know, um, teacher or some sort of, uh, you know, matriarch or patriarch in your family seeking advice. Or maybe you've done your own research. Maybe you've started to embark on some new spiritual practice, a new spiritual journey, and it's allowed for you to to assess everything that has happened in your life past and and, and even your present, uh, what you can see or what you desire for yourself. So this is the growth. This is that hierophant that is, you know, learning and growing at the same time. After some sort of death, you had to, tr you had to learn to forgive and accept the apologies that you've never received. So this shows, you know, the, the process. And now what are you doing? You're a master manifester. You're manifesting someone or something because you realize that you are the alchemist in your life. You are the magi. You set the intention. You can change your reality by changing the way that you think about your situation. So that's very powerful. I love it. So let's tap in. So those are the cards that are on the bottom of the deck. So what we have, again, look at this. Spirituality. This spiritual partnership, pardon me, came right back out. This came out in the form of reading. So not only did we open up this reading with the number six um, about needing to trust your intuition, but also someone coming from your past. But this is also spirit letting you know, like there is a spiritual connection and bond that you will have with someone. And that is the reason why I feel like you are, you know, being told to really, um, you know, really to, to, to use your intuition in matters of the heart. Uh, because with this, um, with that, um, what was that? That was, uh, it was, um, boys to men, uh, and it was, please don't go. And so with boys to men, please don't go. It's like, I feel someone from your past is trying to run an interference with some sort of beautiful spiritual partnership that you are uh, going to be developing or coming into. Uh, so you have to use your intuition. With this 27.9, that is like the hermit. So, you know, I get a sense of like you being very withdrawn from other people or you may be like you know really just kind of working on yourself kind of detach um you know when to pull back you know when to to get away from you know the outside noise you know to quiet the outside noise so that you could hear um those instructions and consult with your higher self with your spirit team with your christ consciousness and it's like you know there's a change that does uh result from you taking that necessary time to assess because you're more you you become more aware when you could re really assess your past actions and the people around you um and then you can you know discern uh, or conclude what you're going to do. So that's beautiful. So what you're attracting to you, it says synchronicity, who or what you're attracting to you. So this will be someone um, that I feel is like a, a, a soulmate. Um, this is a kindred spirit, a soulmate. This is going to be like a cosmic companion because this is the number six. That's like the lovers, yin and yang. Um, this is the yin yang energy. So this is you attracting someone that is definitely like a like mind that will speak your love language. This is someone you will have a lot of commonalities with. And I also feel like many of you could be having or experiencing a lot of synchronicities at this time. And these are uh, occurring because spirit is communicating with you. You're not just seeing those numbers um you know, just because it, there's real downloads that are being uh, communicated and transmitted to you. And it is your duty to decode uh, what it is spirit is communicating with you. So it's like you have to um, do your due diligence to investigate whatever it is that you may be having those, uh, you know, whatever synchronized events that may be occurring. You have to do your due diligence to investigate what those messages mean. So if you're 
constantly seeing synchronized numbers four 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 three 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 two two two. Do your due diligence to research the meaning, the spiritual meanings of those numbers. If you're constantly seeing an animal totem, do your due diligence to research the spiritual meaning of that particular animal. Um, if you're constantly having a particular dream. Do your due diligence to get a dream interpretation, to research. If you're constantly having certain, you know, downloads or certain, uh, just certain things occur, whether it's sensations, ringing in the ears, hands itching, research, 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 because there are messages. And I feel the message is letting you know you're getting closer uh, to, you know, developing, forging, or coming into alignment with someone that will be your divine cosmic uh, companion or counterpart. Next, we have this uh, 37 timeout. This is how someone sees you. So as I said, they may see you um, as uh, someone may see you as being like kind of reserved. You've created distance or you've established boundaries. You may have put someone on timeout. You may have, you know, really disconnected with people that you felt weren't serving your highest good or weren't putting forth the same type of effort or weren't being as intentional or as reciprocal as you require. Um, because as you have went through your own transformation and have grown through your own experiences, you've learned to not hold on to people who are very selfish, who do not reciprocate, who do not know how to give. Um, they only know how to come around to take. So you've separated or severed those ties uh, with individuals who were opportunist or you know, just takers, never giving, but just coming around to take. And this is like, they see you as someone very enlightened, someone who also knows how to manifest, you're a master manifester. So you've been manifesting a lot and we just saw that manifestation card. So someone sees you as like a magician or an alchemist, someone who is very powerful um, in terms of creating their reality. Um, very powerful in setting intention, very powerful in transforming or master manifesting whatever you desire. Someone really sees your strength in that regard. And this is why they want to uh, take action because I feel like for some reason, like maybe they even uh, have become more inspired or more attracted uh, to you um, because this becomes 8-8 eight, eight. that reduces to 16 which reduces to 7 so they do feel obviously like you're the yin to their yang the yang to their yin uh, this is a powerful connection that you are forging um, if you look at these cards together uh, this is showing um, that when you come out of this hermit mode and you have that fresh start whomever you bump into uh, you are going to have a lot of commonalities, similarities, familiarity, synergy, chemistry. Uh, conversations are going to be very deep. They're going to be very stimulating. Uh, and the both of you are going to um, realize there's something more here. I feel this person is going to start developing feelings or emotions, love, because this is pink on the inside. They do feel um, very attracted to you. I feel like they're trusting their intuition. Uh, like something is telling them that this, is, there's something deeper here. Um, and it's, it's these, it's just like the chemistry, you know, the synergy that the two of you will share with one another. Um, and these are all purple cards. So this just shows like there's a very strong spiritual bond and connection. Um, you may also be attracting someone who's psychic or intuitive as well as you are, uh, that hence the, the spiritual partnership. Uh, because you both are spiritual in your own right. Maybe if you are in a particular field or you, you may meet someone in that field, in that line of business that will, uh, that you will develop a stronger bond and union with. And we have patience here, uh, for what's hidden in the energy. So someone is patiently waiting. I feel like this is someone that feels you're like they're, they're a like mind, you know, like there's someone that, they, they feel you're someone they could have that equal exchange of give and of take. Um, cause I'm getting like the two, the lovers. Uh, this is also, um, the high priestess or the high priest. So it's hidden could be that person that was trying to distract you as well. So be mindful of that because maybe they are kind of stalking and watching, um, 
and they're trying to throw you off balance out of equilibrium perhaps this is someone that could have broke your heart in the past and that's why they want to return uh because you've you know obviously are no longer communicating or or dealing with them so you've created space and distance maybe that's why whomever or whatever you're attracting to you they can sense that you are a little more reserved or a little more guarded um you know because maybe you, what you've experienced in your past has taught you to uh be protective of yourself but whomever is hidden in the um energy whatever's hidden behind the scenes it's like they're being very patient um and when you're patient and you're a hierophant or a high i mean a um high priestess or a high priest you you could be patiently conjuring up or trying to plan or sabotage something um that's in um you know that you are um that you're trying to manipulate because this is also like this is what's hidden so there's a high priest or high priestess that's hidden but this is also telling you to be mindful of the choices and the decisions that you make choose wisely is what i'm hearing and make sure that you go within you know the answers you seek are always found within with the 67 physical activity we're about to pull the card for what's your outcome is so there will be some sort of action and we have the Isley brothers living for the love of you. So I definitely get a sense of like there's someone that's going to be very genuine um, in, you know, wanting to make you feel special. Because when someone's living for the love of you, that's someone that feels very motivated, inspired, encouraged just by the love that you give them, just by that that tender love and care, that attentiveness, that affection that you show. Um, you're you're someone who's emotionally intelligent, and they find you very attractive. Um, they feel very drawn to you. Um, and so just be mindful of that so let's tap in so what's the outcome for my beloved scorpios let me get a message of peace power and protection spirit what is the outcome for my beloved scorpios thank you spirit and so we have the three creativity on the bottom of the deck so that is the uh beautiful yellow sunny bright yellow card so this is the energy and vibration of not only the solar plexus the sun that shines within um but that's also the empress the, so the solar plexus really is about your it's it's about your security your self-esteem your confidence and this is how you're coming off as someone that knows their worth knows their value someone who's reached that level of self-mastery uh someone who's a co-creator with source someone very powerful someone who knows how to set their intentions to manifest whatever their desires are they also see you as a creative so you may be a mother you may be a father if you're a masculine this is you know that energy of the emperor as well so you could be someone who's uh you know birthing new ideas new styles new ways of thinking new projects you could be birthing something new very creative um on your path uh and this makes you very attractive this makes you um you know people feel like drawn to you uh because this sun is just very beautiful very vibrant very illuminous so there's some some awakening or some um some new uh something new that's developing and it's bringing joy it's bringing happiness but i also feel spirit is telling you um to trust your gumption your son uh that 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 solar plexus part of me is like your second brain um so it's like when this new thing comes in i feel this is definitely going to brighten and enlighten up your day your mood this is someone that absolutely can see like marriage material in you um masculine or feminine like you you just display all of these beautiful characteristics and attributes uh you could appear to be very domestic very down to earth um someone approachable someone who's very kind someone who's very loving so that's beautiful so what flew out is we have um surrender 91 so that 91 reduces to 10 that's one so this is about not being so guarded you have to be receptive in order to receive whatever you've been praying for hoping for wishing for it's like you have to still be receptive in order to receive those prayers uh the answers to those prayers or those miracles or those um you know to receive those blessings that you've been calling in so this is about like you know giving giving up the need to control giving up that need to uh try to defend 
defend or protect yourself. It's like you've learned the lessons. You know your worth for value now. So you don't have to have unnecessary walls up that people have to break down just to get to you. Because it's like you already are psychic in tune, tapped in. You're already fully aware. You have knowledge of self. So now it's like you could get rid of the, you know, because it's almost like it's it, now it's like that was a defense mechanism to protect yourself. Now it's like you don't need those extra layers. It's like now be open to receive what you have you've earned so it's like surrenders to spirit and let spirit take the wheel and guide you uh because when you are so closed off um it can it, it's like almost a form of self-sabotage as well so i feel like you know with that 91 remember we saw 19 earlier the pride the ego um that card that showed up, someone was having the ego death, and now they're surrendering uh, to perhaps whatever uh, they um, were kind of fighting from. So this could be you, because maybe, you know, whatever you've experienced in your past dealing with an egomaniac, it, it forced you to be clam up. And now spirit is like, look, you could open up a little more, because the more you open up, the more um, can come in, you know, the more the blessings can pour in for you. So next we have financial discipline so I do get a sense of like you know maybe there was a sense of like you um, maybe there's this because this breaks down to 12 which breaks down to 3 uh, and that's like the um, the three of pentacles I'm getting. So there's really the sense of like working really hard towards a goal. Uh, maybe that's why you've been very closed off because you've been kind of focused. You know, I just get that, you know, because this come breaks down to four. So I'm getting like the four of pentacles now. And so, you know, you're very guarded and protective, focused on building your wealth. And I feel at the same time, there's someone that is that has been holding on to you. Um, but you've been very guarded, you know, kind of like if you think of the four of pentacles um you know that just you know in traditional tarot it always gives it gives me a sense of like someone being very you know kind of uh really guarded protective of their energy not willing to give as much but i see that there's really a a, a, a almost like this eye of the tiger tiger focus on perhaps some sort of uh project that you're working on because I see this this uh, financial discipline, so you could be really like stashing money or the need to um, really focus more on uh, putting some coins away, or maybe just you're working on improving your credit or savings, or you're doing something to improve your 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 um, your circumstance financially. So that's beautiful. Maybe you're learning more about uh, financial literacy. Maybe you're going to like a credit repair, you know, and, and having them knock things off your credit report. Like you're doing something uh, proactively, I feel, where you are making sure to, to, you know, just have some more financial freedom in your life. To be more financially disciplined means you're taking onus of, you know, your, 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 your finances, making sure that you're you know, setting something aside, building, you know, some sort of savings, perhaps. Um, but let's clarify these messages, beloved. So had you, I'm curious to see what's underneath there. So we got that. Look at that. Yep. Uh, yep. Uh, so you got creativity, spiritual career. So this is this is how you're now embarking upon the spiritual career because you've learned those lessons and we see this personal growth. So you're taking your personal life experiences and building a spiritual career and it will be very successful. It will be very uh, abundant. You know, things will flourish for you. So we have the Psychic Tarot deck and we have the Throat Chakra here on the bottom of the deck. And remember when we saw that 77 spirituality i was feeling someone had a message that they wanted to convey um this also could speak to you um because you know the throat chakra isn't just about communicating or expressing communicatively it could be about expressing yourself you know creatively or artistically even um so this is really about honing your skills your gifts your talents um tapping in you know this is also maturation as well because this is about you know that uh hierophant as well learning to emote learning to um 
you know, to start embarking on some of your dreams, some of your goals, uh, being more expressive. So we have the suffering in silence and the 95. So there is someone, just as I've said, uh, who has been, um, you know, kind of quiet, who hasn't been expressing what they've been going through. And, you know, maybe someone uh, is, you know, kind of like wanting to come back and correct things. Uh, and I feel, you know, maybe this is even you, um, you know, going through this dark night of the soul journey on your own, not really having people that you can uh, confide in or really open up to because maybe you've discovered that, you know, these were individuals that weren't as as reciprocal as you in the past. So you chose to just go it alone, brave the light on your own. And that has made you stronger, but it's also also allowed for you to learn to emote, to learn to be more expressive, more communicative. Um, and also it's allowed for you to discover, you know, your gifts, your talents. Um, if you look, there's a sun that is um, rising. And so that provides that clarity. Uh, that nine also is the highest number of change. That is the vibration of that hierophant that we was um I mean, not the hierophant, pardon me, the hermit. And the hermit is a wizard. You know, he or she knows the answers he seeks are found within. And so this could be like that wizard, that wizard, wizard. Uh, that feminine or masculine energy that has been kind of like, you know, uh, uh, reserved in isolation, working on themselves, growing. And as you can see, she's reached the top of this mountain. He or she has reached the top of the mountain and now they could see clearly. If you look under here, it's all the clouds. So that was, you know, the cloudy vision, the confusion, uh, the mental conflict, the anxiety, the stress, the worry. Uh, and now there's this aha, you know, now there's this breakthrough because now you are seeing things very clearly you're learning or you've learned from your past experiences and now you will start to um you know attract others that are like mods you'll start to attract people who have also been through that same uh journey as you you're going to attract people that are um you know very much similar in in many ways similar to you in many ways i just jacked up all the cards pardon me these are a new deck so the cards are stiff i had to get a new deck because the other one was just all ripped to shreds and i saw material look at that material and spiritual prosperity i love to see that card so whatever this connection is because this is on the bottom of the deck this is what you're attracting to you this is also six so this could just be you coming into union with yourself as well, you know, by you coming into harmony, coming into balance, you know, finding that sense of inner peace. It's like you will be rewarded. You know, that six is, you know, the, the lovers in traditional tarot. That also is your first eye. You know, the lovers is depicted in traditional tarot as, you know, a masculine and feminine energy, that yin yang energy, um, which really speaks to duality, you know, really speaks to what goes around, comes around. Um, it really speaks to, uh, you know, even your uh, you coming into uh, union with your higher self, like tapping into your Christ consciousness or even other like minds. And because of that, you're, you're being rewarded with this material and spiritual prosperity. Um, I definitely get a sense of, you know, your angels and your guides are uh, definitely rewarding you, not only with this abundance, this love, this peace, this joy, this overflow, uh, but also a partner that you could share that with. And what we have playing is Jodeci, my heart belongs to you. Um, and it's if you look, it's about to be 11-11 on the clock. Um, so... And it's 1110, so that breaks down to three. So someone does see you as an empress if you're a feminine. If you're a masculine, you're seen as an empress. And they are royalty. They are regal. Um, they are powerful. They are self-aware. They're self-confident. They're determined. They're the entrepreneurs, the leaders, the bosses. They're very confident. Um, so someone sees you as such. And with my heart belongs to you, you will have uh, or you may have, uh, you know, someone from a past life that could be entering into um into your lives into your cipher uh very soon and this is someone i feel your angels and your guides are um aligning you with this is beautiful so let's tap in 
So let's clarify these messages. And it's 11, 11 on the clock. So I do feel like your cosmic companion is coming in. And that, and perhaps that could be the reason why someone uh, was, you know, is attempting to, you know, distract you as I was picking up. Because this is a very sacred bond. This isn't just, you know, somebody you're just going to be, you know, there's just just an, a physical attraction. There's there's a spiritual bond connection that you will have with someone. And this is something you will feel it. You will know it. That's why spirit was telling you, trust your intuition, because this is something you will feel and sense um, when you meet this person, when you bump into this person. There's, it's going to be different from anyone else that you've ever dealt with. And there's a positive movement forward for you. So whoever this is could be entering your life. Remember, I was speaking to there being uh, some travel. Uh, perhaps you can bump into this person when you attend a family reunion. Someone may bring, you know, a plus one, one of their friends, you know. Um, maybe when you go travel, you may meet someone. Uh, but I do feel like there's someone entering your life. And I'm seeing a lot of suns on the card. And the sun represents the dawning of a new day. Um, it represents a new beginning. It represents represents clarity it represents joy and happiness and vitality so in strength even so let's tap in so spirit what messages do you have for my beloved scorpios may i get a message of peace power and protection and i just saw the universe card and that is the very same card depicted on the box so this is a very beautiful card because this is the this is uh, very much um, similar to the world. This is the world card in this deck. So with the universe, it's like you have unlocked the keys and the mysteries, you know, to the universe. Um, you are connected to the all. It's like you've gained a deeper, more profound understanding of the world, how to navigate the world. Um, so there is this sense of like now you being wiser, you gaining a deeper, more profound understanding of yourself even, um, but also being being able to you know co-create with source becoming you know that magi or that alchemist that master manifester uh this 21 reduces to three uh which is the empress or even the emperor who has now evolved or ascended into um a higher ranking position spiritually uh where you can now become you know that teacher to others that healer to others because you've learned to heal yourself every great healer has to first heal themselves so this is beautiful so so let's tap in. I'm going to cut this deck. And I like to cut three times three different directions. My shirt just so discombobulated. Why is it like that? <laughs> it's just all, I look like I just got out of the bed. All right, let's tap in. So what we have here, look at that. You got that. This is like the Ace of Swords to me. It says triumphant success. Can't make this up. Bottom of the deck, deception and envy. Didn't I say I was sen uh, sensing someone that was not being their authentic self and they was just coming in to distract you? especially and this is the number seven here and so when that train was going by i mean that car whatever that was i just felt there was and as i'm speaking a the noise there's noise going on but as i was just, i sensed it i felt like you know there was someone that wasn't being genuine but look what's underneath that you're going to have victory and success over this person that's why they're envious because you're having victory see i was back is turned to what i deem the devil you know, this is a fake person. They're wearing a mask and they put the mask on when you look at them. That's why I was saying use your first eye to see and not your two, because your first eye is what will allow you to see right through any type of plots, plans, you know, scheming and scamming that they could be, you know, trying to conjure up. You'll see right through the illusion um, that they're trying to confuse you with. So that, I'm telling you, you can't make this up. And what did I say? They're jealous because you have a spiritual partnership. And this person is trying to keep you trapped. There's a tower moment. You see this disruption. They're trying to disrupt your peace. They're trying to distract you from attracting or coming into this sacred union, the spiritual bond connection. Didn't I say this is like the two of cups? This person, this person is being very patient because they're planning, plotting, scheming, scamming to, you know, to um, sabotage this union. This is a sacred bond. This is that spiritual partnership that you are coming into union with. This is that person. 
and it's inevitable. I heard the word inevitable in my mind's eye as I was speaking to this. What did I say about a choice? Someone's coming back to try to distract you from making the right decision. And that's why use your intuition came out. That's why spirit was like, trust your gumption. This person's trying to disrupt, distract, and deceive. They're trying to keep you bound and stuck. They could even be trying to do some voodoo, juju, -ju hoodoo on you, you. So be mindful because this too is the high priest or high priestess, which they do you know they can do some old you know they can bewitch your ass don't get it twisted so this is someone that could be trying to bind you and that's why i said you can't be so hell bent on seeking closure from people you that's that's relinquishing your power to another person that's like submitting your will to someone else like you can't have no peace no happiness in your life life unless someone comes and apologizes to you like that's giving someone too much power to be honest to with you that's why you have to accept apologies you've never received and keep it pushing beloved don't wait for somebody to, you'll never be happy if you wait especially in this time where so many narcissists have been born with social media and Everybody on there, you know, flirting with this one and gassing up, you know, people head and they, they, they're not emotionally mature enough to be able to identify their wrong because they're so wrapped up in this, this illusion called the, you know, the, the, this maw of tricks. So many people are wrapped up in it. And so it's like when you submit your will to someone and, and, and say, you're basically saying, I can't have peace unless someone come and gives me closure and closure and answers the questions that I have. Why did you cheat? Who is this person you were cheating? Why do you care? Like if somebody cheated on you, they cheated on you. Keep it pushing. They cheated because that's just what they wanted to do. <laughs> Period. They were weak. They were in a moment of weakness. You don't need the specifics. If anything, it's going to make you even more angry. And then you're going to fall into another depression. You know what I'm saying? Then you're going to start going back in time and, you know, calculating. Well, when I was doing this, he must have been doing that or she must have been doing it. It's like, yo, just accept the apologies you never received. And that makes your load lighter. And that's why that suffering and silence was there, because a lot of you chose that route to just accept the apology you never received. And, and when you suffered in silence, you continued your voyage to self-discovery, to heal, to grow, to evolve, to change for the better. That's why that moderation card showed up. And now that you've done that, you have absolutely graduated and elevated. And that person sees that. And that's why they felt like you have put them on time out, you know, and you've also have become some sort of magi. You've learned how to to change and shift things. And that's why they're trying to, you know, they're in the behind the scenes, you know, trying to, you know, sabotage something. This is a two faced individual fake. They're fake. The true fame in them. And and love, unfortunately, isn't in their heart for you because they're jealous and envious of you. So you can't ever get you know, actual factuals or get specific or, or genuine answers from someone that's wearing a mask. This is someone that doesn't even know themselves. That's why they wear a mask because they put on these facades just to fit in these cer certain groups, just to get in good. And then they strike, you know, so this is, you know, a snake. This is someone fugazi. This is someone that's a master manipulator. And you don't need to have that type of energy in your life. You don't need no closure from somebody that's just going to sit in your face and lie. They're going to lie to kick it. They're going to lie. They're going to tell you what you want to hear. And they're not going to be, there's not an ounce of genuinity or sincerity or compassion in this soul. This person is out for revenge, out for blood. They don't give a damn about you. Hence the facade that they walk around it. But when you turn your back on that and focus solely on you, because look at this six. This six is you having the victory because you choose to keep it pushing. You choose to move upwards and onwards, and that's what they're jelly of because you didn't fall for the trap of sitting around and, and moping and crying and moping, you know, moping and crying and hoping they come back with an apology or they come back and give you the closure. You kept it pushing, and so now that wake up call is saying there's a victory ahead for you. That's beautiful. I love it. So, your message is triumphant success. So, you've cut yourself free from the illusions that one. That's associated with you. That 37, this is what you had to do. You cut people, places, things off. You cut people who were holding you back off. You started to see things as they were opposed to how you wanted them to be. 
You know what I'm talking about? You started to focus on the self. You gained some sort of clarity. You're seeing things clearly. And when you see things clearly that were holding you back and hindering you, you could take this sword and cut yourself free from that soul tie, from that karmic cord, from that yoke. This is beautiful. And then look what happens blessings come in someone is confessing or expressing something that they are feeling and this is sincere this is genuine this is beautiful i love this with triumph and success whomever this person is that you're attracting to you this is a, a powerful bond that you are developing with this person a powerful connection pay attention to the signs and synchronicities this person is definitely watching. Someone's watching your progress. Someone's watching. This is that same person from your past because this is the 87, 15, that's six. So this is like I was getting the six of cups, you know, from that. I was getting the lovers from that. So this is that person from your past, more so the, 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 the six of cups, because the six of cups is like people from your past returning. And it is your, it is you, it is your um, responsibility to use discernment and to see beyond the illusion, because you will see that person is foo foo. They're wearing a mask. They don't mean a damn thing they say, you know, and you don't even have to be angry about it, but you just got to be aware. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Why is 87? Whoa, I can't take a gazillion cards. All right, let's bang, bang, boogie the cards as I'm speaking of this energy. Look at that. I can't make this up. You're getting recognized. This is recognition and reward and it's coming straight from source. That is the number three. That's the same energy that I was saying here with this creativity. When you do the work, you heal from past pain and you go through or grow through you know your your startling metamorphosis or your dark night of the soul journey you are awarded because you've learned those lessons you've reached that higher level of understanding of knowledge of self you love that self and you will be you will graduate to the next level this is an absolutely beautiful card and that's what spirit is saying is coming in for you you may be seeing a lot of synchronicities that's why i said it will behoove you to really research you know when you see certain things don't just you know just kind of like you know brush it off like there are messages being conveyed there could still be some things spirit is is expecting or requiring you to do in order to receive this or obtain this and you have to do your due diligence to to decode those messages so to speak so divine spirit of peace power and protection why is this 87 synchronicity here for my beloved scorpios why is 87 here for who or what they are attracting to them and we have transformation can't make that up that's what you did that's on the bottom of the deck for when we pull the card for how someone feels about you dang that card almost flipped out and look what's underneath that i can't make this up if this doesn't tell you that you are about to be rewarded scorpios i don't know what to tell you so we have awareness see that someone has gained awareness this also is saying you are gaining awareness you are starting to be receive you know these divine interventions downloads synchronicities you have to know you know how spirit communicates and spirit will communicate with you through many means i found feathers so some of you could be finding feathers some of you could be bumping into animal totems i i just i was driving with my children at night and you know and um you know i saw this you know frog hop in front of the car it was the tiniest thing but i saw it i just happened to see it and um i got out of the car my children got out of the car and i um because i wanted to make sure i didn't run over him because he was so tiny and i was driving and of course i didn't he was right to the left of me as i got out of the car and i took a picture of him and used it as my thumbnail for the former reading um I also saw, you know, 444 in a car in front of me and it was uh, E-A-R, ear, and then 444. So it was like Spirit was saying, there's going to be mess messages. Maybe some of you are having ringing in the ears, but listening. It's about, you know, messages being conveyed and communicated. So it's about trusting what you're feeling, what you're hearing, what you're sensing. So many of you are gaining stronger awareness and tapping into your uh, spiritual gifts and talents. You're manifesting something. And this is really showing... Um, whomever you're attracting as i said is also in the craft is also uh equally spiritual um this is someone who's perhaps gaining an awareness that um there's something 
you know, maybe when this person comes in, because this six is like the lovers and that can speak to like a past life love. So maybe this is someone from your past past life uh that could be coming in and you're gaining an awareness because you're starting to pick up on uh many synchronicities you're getting downloads transmissions you're having lucid dreams you're getting these sensations tinglings and all of this and you know something's coming so that's beautiful how they feel about you is 13 transformation big changes have occurred enormous changes have occurred in your life and you've evolved you can see she's shedding her old self you know so this is the death of the old her and the birthing of the new her so startling metamorphosis you know what i'm talking about like this is like emerging as someone brand new and she's wearing green garb and that green deals with the heart chakra and then remember we saw that 44 environment so it showed not only did you and this is 13 so that reduces to four shows that you had to uh, transform from a, a painful loss. It was the demise of a relationship, the demise of a loved one. It was a death of some someone either transitioned or a relationship itself transitioned and ended. And that's why you created distance. That's why you had to learn to love yourself. And so now you're emerging as someone beautiful, as someone more strong, uh, someone wiser. Um, this is a beautiful energy. And you know, you've taken the necessary time to do that work. You know, this 31, I mean, this 13, pardon me, is four and this 37 is one. So that reduces to five. So that's the hierophant. So you were in, you know, class was in session for you. You've been growing uh, tremendously. Um, and this work is shown and proven. Uh, hence, recognition and reward and victories and success and all of those cards showing up during the shuffle because you are now due a reward. Spirit recognizes you've taken the time. This is you taking the time out. It's not you, you know, being forced you took that necessary time out to do that root work because that 37 is the one that's the root chakra the, the that's the base you took that all the way up to the the crown which is the the um that seven so this is you really going within doing that internal work healing at a soul level you know identifying what stability and security and family looks like feels like for you and defining it you know more importantly and now you're going to out you know embark on some new beginning new precipice uh with this new intention with this newfound um you know awareness if you will so let's tap in oh that's beautiful so why is 37 time out here uh for how uh scorpio whatever scorpio is attracting to them feel about them why is 37 here and we have um we have uh cherish the day so we have and that's by sade so someone there goes that material and spiritual prosperity there so this is beautiful so look at that so you took the time out. What did I just say? To heal from the pains, the heartache, the loss. Someone sees that. This is what they feel about you. They feel that you've taken the necessary time out to address this pain that you experienced in your past. Hence that transformation that you've experienced when you did that work. This is you going within. She's like in a cave herself. She's isolated herself and focused solely on recovery. You know, and this three shows it was very painful to do that. But this three and this 37 reduces to four. That speaks to heart. The heart chakra was broken. The heart chakra was in pieces, you know, damn near. And you had to really brave your light in order to overcome those obstacles that you were facing um but we clearly see that you've isolated yourself just like that hermit would uh with that you know um suffering and silence card we saw earlier that's similar to this because she's by herself in a cave it looks like a cave but there's a window um and that window represents a window of hope of optimism that three not only does it you know give me the sense of three of swords where there was heartache and loss but it's also given me a sense of the three of um you know the three of um the three the solar plexus because you have to you know you have to um lean on your strength your courage and your wise dome to overcome certain uh circumstances as i said when you're sitting around waiting for somebody to give you closure you're going to be waiting for the rest of your life but when you take that initiative and take that time out 
to assess and to address whatever you're feeling because your feelings are your responsibility and no one else's that's when the healing can begin that's what the four is the four of the four chakra i mean the four um the heart chakra so that's when you can now learn to love thyself and you realize love is an inside job and that's when you start to learn Oh, I have to set boundaries. Oh, I need to start expecting what I'm giving. If I'm giving you this love and this attention, then I should expect that in return or I should receive that in return. So this is powerful. I love it. So recognition and reward. So with this patient spirit is saying, be patient because your blessings are near. They're drawing closer and uh, six and two is eight. So that means it's coming in quicker than you can imagine. That means the wish will be fulfilled. A miracle will happen and take place. And a prayer, you know, will be answered because I'm getting like the eight of wands. The eight always reminds me of like karma. So you've experienced a lot of karma. That's why the patience is here. You had to clean up a lot of karmic debt. I feel like you also was dealing with a karmic who was preying on your downfall and they're going to watch you, you know, have all the success. Hence that envy and that jealous card, you know, deception and envy, because someone may just be coming around, um, you know, to to exploit you or to sabotage or to distract you. Uh, and spirit is saying, you know, just look alive, beloveds, make wise decisions and remain balanced in harmony and in control um, of yourself in equilibrium, uh, because this is about, you know, you making the right decisions, the right choices, which will lead to this wish fulfillment. This also shows me like the star so a lot of healing has taken place especially after you've experienced a lot of heartache and loss you know that eight always gives me you know the star um and so that shows that you've done a lot of work you turned your pain into power um you turned you know you know whatever um uh, vulnerabilities you are uh suffering from and experiencing into superpowers hence the three you know because this three like i said that's the solar plexus and the solar plexus is about your self-esteem it's about your confidence and this person robbed you of all of that you didn't feel as beautiful you didn't feel as handsome you didn't feel as smart you didn't feel as good you didn't feel as accomplished you didn't feel those things because whomever you was dealing with it they ripped you they robbed you of that you know by means of the way that they treated you but also by the way that you treated yourself self-love makes you more attractive and when someone can steamroll your ass with some bull crap or when they can master manipulate and treat you like you know nothing and you allow it for a while um they 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 gain more uh more um they become even more um, hostile in their treatment of you and their lack of res respect for you uh, grows. It increases because they just start looking at it like, oh, they're never going to leave. They're never going to have the strength to walk away. And, and it was the complete opposite for some of you all. Um, not some of y'all, all of y'all, because if you watch in this channel, all of y'all have done this work. You know, I'm talking about um, this channel is not for people who, you know, who aren't um, self-aware. You know, so I don't have time. I don't hold hands. I don't sit around and, and, and hold your hand through things like I'm speaking to those who's been doing this work. This work is not easy. The, people make it sound easy because they love to make videos and posts about, you know, going through a dark night of the soul journey and they talk about it. And, but it's like that work is not easy. It really isn't. And it shows that's what you did, especially with that card that showed you was suffering in silence. Being at the peak of the mountain shows you been doing that work. You had to go start from the ground and get all the way up to the top of the mountain. That shows the resilience. That shows your perseverance. You persevering through that. Healing from these pains, these wounds, these traumas. And realizing that you are, you know, you are beautiful you are powerful all the things this person that you was dealing with in the past may have made you not realize about yourself you realize all of that was a farce it was a lie and it was your responsibility to snap out of that illusion and you did just that but i digress so let's tap in so we have patience here 
and then we have this beautiful card of material and spiritual prosperity we have rockers revenge so rockers revenge and this is called battle cry so remember what i said about that deception that that deceptive person is like you know they're trying to, to distract you but it's also like they they're seeking revenge because you've walked away from them and they could be really like frustrated with you for walking away for gaining your power for putting them on time out for setting up boundaries and so they're going to be very like you know uh can persistent which with trying to sabotage something because this two patients like i said is the higher uh high priestess or high priest so they can really be you know behind the scenes trying to sabotage something or trying to manipulate your energy or you know so be mindful of that be aware so divine spirit of peace power and protection this also could speak to your success being you know the greatest revenge you know you being successful look at that passion ignited so that's that two of cups energy i was getting be patient you know good things take time to create when you're patient it's like you 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 reap the rewards and the benefits of whatever it was you were you know you know kind of like waiting to come in you know so that passion ignited that's really beautiful someone's coming in to light your flame i just heard so look at that oh that's powerful so the bottom of the deck we have power look at that i can't make this up you took your power back this is the strength so you've gone through you know many experiences karmic lessons and you've learned to own your power you've learned to take your power back from people that just played and toyed with your emotions with your feelings and you did that by realizing your worth and your own value you started to work on your own self-esteem some of y'all probably started to speak positive affirmations i am beautiful i am gorgeous good day to, you know whatever um mary j blige she has an album called hello gorgeous and when i listened to one of her interviews she was saying the reason why she named it that is because as beautiful as that woman is we all know anybody that's a mary j flan we know that that girl had been going through all kind of heartbreaks and uh you know because those are the best albums i ain't gonna hold you like those albums are some of the her best work but she was explaining why she named the last album good good morning gorgeous and it was because that was the way that she was able to get out of her depression uh after she went through that d divorce that crazy divorce where she had to pay the damn man all kind of you know crazy money so she was just really depressed it, it forced her to be in a depression um, and she didn't feel beautiful. She didn't feel valued, even as this, you know, this, uh, you know, great entertainer. Um, so she named that album Good Morning Gorgeous. And she would leave like little uh, notes on her bathroom window. And it would say like, you know, Good Morning Gorgeous and all these positive affirmations. So perhaps that's what some of you all did was you started to do little things to start boosting your self-esteem. You started to treat yourselves better. You started to work out, started to eat better so you started to look better when you look good you feel good you know what i'm talking about and when you feel good your your aura it becomes lighter it becomes more illuminous it becomes more attractive to others so you are very powerful very strong very courageous and now you're wiser because you've braved your light and broke those karmic um cycles you know you've come out of those karmic cycles and learned those karmic lessons so this is beautiful it's like half man and half amazing so now you're stronger wiser more assertive more confident more proud you know of who you are um opposed to uh being beaten down and broken because someone's constantly um you know speaking ill of you or or telling you the things you couldn't do or not supporting you not reciprocating or not seeing your worth and value so that's powerful so what we have is we have um victories and success and then we have patience and planning so this is still clarifying uh the patience card so patience is patience so spirit is basically saying um be patient because good things take time to create i know a lot of y'all is tired of hearing that y'all like when is this ish supposed to be happening but it's like good things take time to create you know this you, if you want microwave stuff then it's not going to be as good it's not going to be as sustainable but if you want something that's going to be durable and long lasting even if it's in regards to your success in your business or you know whatever it is that you're expecting or desiring it's like your patience is what's going to determine you know the outcome of it you know when you're patient this is what's going to give you the victories and the success you already have 
victory and success. Now you have triumphant success. So you are going to be very, very elated um, regardless, whatever this is. So spirit is just saying, be patient. Use your, your intuition to make the wise decisions for you. But you got to plan, you got to pray, uh, prepare, and you have to strategize your actions, your movements. Perhaps that's what someone who could be coming in that feels you are a wish fulfillment because there's two and that seven reduces to nine. I'm seeing the nine of pentacles. I'm seeing the nine of cups. That nine of pentacles is someone very um, single, someone independent, someone self-sufficient, someone that knows their worth and value because they've been working on themselves. They've been healing themselves. And when you heal that self, you love that self. When you love that self, you know thyself. So this is someone that they know that you're not settling. So they see your worth, they that your value, and you see it too. You know it too. And that's why it's leading to success for you. This is also also someone rushing in confidently. This could even be you moving forward very confidently, very boldly after your dreams. Uh, that could be a wish fulfillment coming in that's going to lead to success and victory because that nine and the six still reduces to six. So that's beautiful. And it's because you braved your light and took your power back from someone that was powerless. You know, like I said, never submit your will, not even the readers. If you're watching tarot card readers, you don't have to submit your will to anyone. When Once you do that, you're giving them your power. So it's like you took your power back from whoever um, was trying to rob you of it in the past. Whoever convinced you that you were all of these, you know, that you were less than what you were, you know, which is why that heartache and loss is there. So why is 91 surrender? And this 48 financial discipline here for my beloved Scorpios for the outcome. We get a message of peace, power, and protection for my beloved Scorpios. Thank you. There goes your message. And we got patience yet again. 14. So patience is being emphasized. That's why I feel like that six for the for two days in a row has come out for your readings. Uh, that number six, that's your first eye, your intuition. Remember what I said. Don't just rush. The good things take time to create, but you're also going to be distracted. Whatever you've been planning, preparing for, it's like spirit is absolutely saying it's going to be everything you imagine. But they want you to focus more so on, you know, on like mastering your craft because this five and this three and this one that reduces to nine. So I'm getting like the nine of pentacles. You know, this five, that 14 reduces to five, this 48 reduces to 12, that's three. And then you have this 19, that's one. So that's nine. So this is like, you know, the, the nine of pentacles is like you're working very hard, very diligently um, on a particular goal, on a particular um, endeavor. And I feel like spirit is saying, uh, be patient because whatever it is that you are working on, it's going to lead to uh, major success, major victory. And it looks like with mov movement choices and decisions, spirit is saying they want you to make the right choices, the right decisions. I want to get one more message. Let me get one more message from my beloved Scorpios. Why is this um, 91 surrender, 48 financial discipline here? Thank you, spirit. I can't make this up. I cannot make this up. What did I just say about choosing wisely? Choose wisely. So there's going to be some options. There's something that spirit wants you um, to really take the time to, to, to really assess and to... Um, make sure it's the right decision, the right course of action. Because I feel that there's, like I said earlier, a distraction, someone trying to distract you. You have foundation and achievements. So this is that, you know, that, that past life love. This is someone um, that's going to open up your heart chakra that you could have that happy house, happy spouse, happily ever after with. Someone that you could build with, grow with, build that nucleus, that family bond. Um, this is a beautiful energy here. So spirit is saying, be patient and, and choose wisely because there's someone that's definitely coming in to deceive, you know, manipulate that person from your past, that person that's miserable without you, but they don't know how to emote or communicate. They've never been emotionally intelligent or on your level in that regard because they focus more so on playing games. Um, that deception and envy uh, card just shows that someone is very envious and jealous of you for many reasons because number one, they can't manipulate and control you anymore. They can't you know, lie to you anymore because you see right through them, but also they can't, 
you know, they can't take from you. you. You've established boundaries. So spirit is saying, choose wisely. That's a number seven, your intuition. Use your intuition. Look at things from a bird's eye view. If you look closely, there is an energy that is there at the dock of the bay meditating. So spirit is saying, you know, maybe perhaps go to a body of water. Answers will come to you uh, quicker. Um, but this is also looking at things from bird's eye view and trusting your gumption. But this is what you have coming in. This is really showing me the spiritual partnership leads to um, that happily ever after, that beautiful bond. This is someone that's going to really treat you uh, the way you deserve to be treated because they see your worth and value. They see your strength and there is genuine love here. And this four is 1111, which typically deals with like, you know, twin flame union bonds and connections. Yep. And we have the waiting game. So some of y'all just been waiting and you're waiting and you're waiting. And it's not what you, it's not how you, it's not the, the fact that you're waiting. It's how you wait. So if you're just waiting and twiddling your drunk thumbs and sitting on your hands and not being uh, productive or, you know, um, not doing things in the meantime, in between time, um, it's going to feel like forever. So this is really about, you know, being mindful um, to still work on you, to still, you know, master your craft, find activities you endure, enjoy doing. Um, but this is beautiful. It goes that wish fulfillment there as well, uh, along with truth. You now know the truth. And if you look, that's the number 20, which reduces to two. So the, the 20 is like, um, that's uh, judgment. So I do feel like, you know, there is someone uh, that will receive karma for perhaps, you know, maybe their karma is having to watch you develop some sort of new bond with another person. Um, so let's tap in, beloveds. Let's see what we got. We're going to get some messages from uh, Tarot, beloveds. And then we're going to, um, we're going to uh, wrap it up. You know what? I want to get some messages from the Moonology, being as though we are coming into this full moon on Tuesday the 3rd. Um, so we have a new, look at that, a new start is coming, beloveds, and we're about to clarify the spiritual partnerships and triumphant success. So spirit is confirming. So this new moon, maybe this full moon, because this is a, uh, it says new moon, um, but maybe this, this full moon or maybe by the next new moon, um, this spiritual partnership or there will be some communication from someone or maybe you will meet someone, you'll bump into someone. We have prosperity lies ahead. So you all are going to be very successful. Business will flourish if you have a spiritual career, if you have anything um, dealing with the metaphysical or spirituality, if you're a practitioner, if you're a healer, a shaman, a light worker, if you're a tower reader, if you're a scryer, if you're a psychic, if you're a musician, if you're an artist, if you're a writer, if you're an author, if you do anything, um, you know, in in the field of helping and healing and teaching and and, and growing others, this this prosperity for you, this new beginning. This this new start is everything that you've earned. We already saw, you know, material and spiritual prosperity. We see triumphant success, victory and success. We saw recognition and reward. So the, the moonology cards are now saying prosperity lies ahead. So stay diligent, stay focused. Don't get distracted, Ashe. And it says, don't let pride get in your way. And remember, we saw that ego death earlier, that, that 19 ego. So, you know, for some of you, that's why this surrender is here. That's telling you, you know, surrender to spirit. Don't be so closed off. Be open. You know, even be more social because you'll meet other like minds. You know, a lot of you are still operating and functioning as you did when you were going through your dark night of the soul journey. And spirit is saying you could get rid of that, that whole uh, facade, if you will, um, you know, that whole protective um, mechanism, because, you know, it could potentially be blocking a blessing or blocking opportunity. So, so let's tap in, beloved. So spirit, what messages do you have for my beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power and protection. And who do we have playing? We have... Um, who is this? Uh, this is Prince, and um, this is called Kiss. So whoever this is, maybe this is going to be someone that kisses very well. Like, you're going to remember this kiss. You know, maybe this is someone that you have already um, met before, as I said. And, and I'm telling you, the kisses are going to be very passionate. So let's tap in. So divine spirit, peace, power, and protection. Um, this is going to be someone very charming as well, because I'm getting that with the prince, you know, rising power king. I'm getting that this person will be very charming, very chivalrous, um, someone very attentive and affectionate. 
This is going to be someone that speaks your love language off the rip. Like, and that's what's going to attract you is like everything that you that you require your love language, what makes you feel, um, you know, loved and appreciated and valued. This person is going to do all of that. And maybe some of you, this person, I'm seeing a forehead kiss, you know, so this person may be very like endearing and loving in that way. And they may kiss you on your forehead. You know, maybe there will be a passionate kiss you and this person will share. So we have the energy is gaining momentum. And remember why, you know, that could be the reason why patience is here so many times on the card literally came out three times and three is the charm. So spirit is literally saying, you know, that patience is a form of action and all of the patience cards um, reduced to five. So I feel like patience is required because someone's still growing, someone's still learning, someone's still maturing. So there's that level of like studentship, like they're being um, taught, you know, some lessons. So what you have here is the, the whatever you are calling in whomever this is um it's gaining momentum meaning it's 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 coming closer it's it's drawing nearer as i said so that's why spirit was telling you that, that you're going to have to make a, a decision you know um soon you know and if you look there are three birds and so there could be communication just as i said because this sword is very indicative of the air energy so there's conversations communication uh, someone expressing something and um, you know those birds as I said could indicate that there is a message that's coming through because they they definitely represent and symbolize you know messages from spirit that could even be you know your angels and your guides giving you the clarity uh, providing you that illumination uh, so that you can trust your intuition so let's clarify the 87 uh, synchronicity and the one awareness um, we have the end of a tough cycle approaches and that says full moon in Capricorn. So this is what someone is coming to the uh, realization, whomever you're attracting to you, they're going through some sort of startling metamorphosis themselves. They're growing, they're evolving, and they're also gaining the awareness. And they will also um, see some sort of similarity and commonality in you when they, you know, when they approach you or when they meet you or when they have some sort of exchange, whether that be through communication or maybe that's just uh, you know, a glare, you know, just the two of you staring at each other, catching eye contact, but there will be something deeper that someone will feel, uh, with this connection. And this will make them feel, uh, like they want to get to know you better. Like they want to, um, approach you, uh, perhaps they'll, you know, be assertive and confident. So let's tap in. Why is this 87 synchronicity and awareness here? Thank you, spirit. And we have look at the bigger picture here. It's on the bottom of the deck for when we, uh, clarify your energy for how they feel about you rather um so what we have is a win-win outcome is forecast so you can't make this up there's a win-win here because someone realizes something when you have the synchronicity someone does realize like okay uh they start tapping in and they gain that awareness and they start to connect the dots to see like oh snap i'm manifesting by the my own thoughts by what i'm speaking by what i'm setting my intention into i'm manifesting something and these synchronicities are saying that there's something that's going to work out in your favor so a win-win is really really you know expressing that um things are going to turn out in your favor where this person is absolutely coming in to you know bring the balance they feel like you ground them they feel like the connection is strong um if you're going through any type of legal matters i feel like that also is saying that things will work out in your favor that you will get a settlement or something is going to be um it's got like a yes answer uh because that that seven the chariot um, is like a triumphant outcome that is someone like moving ahead, you know, and things are finding that balance, you know, life is, is, is becoming more balanced, more um, stable in that regard. And with uh, look at the bigger picture, someone is looking at you as someone that they can build with, grow with, someone that they can, you know, really have that legacy, um, that longevity, someone willing to compromise even in this connection. This 37 and this three, that's four. So this is someone that could see, um, you know, that they they they're developing these emotions and these feelings of love. Uh, they want to shoot their shot. 
you know this is like an arrow so i get a sense of like someone really expressing something and wanting to really shoot their shot uh that's why they're preparing and becoming more assertive and that's why they'll be rushing in to perhaps express these feelings of love because this seven and this four reduces to 11. so this is like they're they're finally making that decision that choice um because they have you know grounded themselves and found that harmony or that balance within themselves or that confidence within themselves to take action and then they shoot their shot and express whatever it is that they feel um so how they feel about you we're about to pull this um card and it says look at the bigger picture and we have the new edition and this is called ne uh heartbreak so ne heartbreak and um excuse me and so they do know and, and remember this is you know they know you've been through a lot of pain a lot of trauma um but they also know that you've taken the necessary time to heal from those traumas from those experiences and so this is something that you know uh that's why it's like they there, there could be that apprehension um because they don't want to uh it's like nobody wants to get with somebody that has baggage you know and so you know with look at the bigger picture perhaps they start assessing you uh, or observing you in a whole new light or they start seeing you in a whole new light um but let's tap in let's see so we have 1156 on the clock that's 1111 so this person definitely could see you as like the yin to their yang and the twin plane and we have time to breathe out um and that's uh going to clarify the messages for uh what's hidden that's what's on the bottom of the deck for when we pull that so it says your hard work is paying off so absolutely someone does see uh that you've been working very hard on yourself uh, as i said a lot of internal work a lot of healing a lot of self-reflecting and in that self-reflection you've discovered a lot hence the need uh to start working on loving thyself and when you start loving thyself you really start the healing process which leads to you now you know knowing who you are knowing that boundaries need to be set knowing your worth and value knowing that you shouldn't ever settle for anyone that's going to treat you less than what you deserve um so next we have luck is on your side so this person whomever you're attracting to you they see you as someone as i said that's a master manifester someone who's really done a lot of work to heal and so this is why they're willing to you know kind of shoot their shot remember we saw that arrow earlier and it said um um i forgot what that card said that fast but with luck is on your side they do see you as someone that is like a wish fulfillment someone that they could you know build and grow with i think this was the one that was the actual card that i'm talking about with the, the with the arrow so yeah they, they want to shoot their shot how they feel about you is they're ready to shoot their shot they're feeling lucky they're feeling confident you know because they had to muster all of that up remember 87 and this one the magician uh reduces to 16 which is seven that's the chariot so they really had to muster up that strength and that courage and be more assertive to come toward you and this is what is uh they have to look forward to so this is like you know luck is on their side they feel lucky they feel more confident they feel like this situation can evolve into something special um with emotions are running high they're starting to realize um, that there's something deeper there, you know, uh, that's why that 87, that pink in there really made me feel like someone's really starting to develop emotions for another person, feelings for another person. And it says, don't let your past hold you back. So this is about not self-sabotaging and not allowing, you know, uh, holding someone you know uh how do you say charging someone for crimes they didn't commit so you know for example like you know someone who has uh trust issues for instance um everyone you meet isn't going to creep isn't going to cheat isn't going to lie um and then when you meet someone that is actually coming in with good intentions that wants what you want but yet you're charging them for past people's offenses so it's like don't let your past hold you back so how they feel about you is they want to approach you but perhaps there are some things that kind of hinder them or um confuse them or scare them and it's all based off what they experienced in their past so it's like they're fighting through this you know this is really about you know past trauma with that self node um you know karmic lessons that they've learned in the past and then we have confidence is your key see what i said so that confidence is what they're going to utilize 
to come towards you um, because they see that you about your business. You're not playing. You've braved your light. You've been healing. You didn't have help doing this, this work. And so it's like, it's almost like they're taking a page out of your book and they're just going to take act, you know, take that, um, take that chance, if you will. Um, so it says, take time to breathe out. So this is about really meditating. This is about really connecting and grounding yourself, really becoming one with Mother Gaia, Daughter Earth, really, you know, being connected to the all. Um, that's why patience is here, because I feel like Spirit is saying, um, focus more so on uh, finding that equilibrium, that emotional equilibrium and balance. Um you know, and then this will allow for you to make the right decisions and choose wisely. So it's about meditating to get things straight, contemplating on your actions before taking action. Ashe. So let's see, why is this two patients here for my beloved Scorpios? Uh, the seven patience and planning and the six victory and success. And we have your dreams need a practical plan. So that's why that was saying patience, because someone is like, you know, just wanting to do things, but it's like you have to, you have to plan. You got to plan it out. You got to strategize. You know what I'm talking about? So what actually came out is we have it's time to release negativity. See that? So this could be in regards to that energy that I was saying um, that was kind of lurking, you know, that high priest or high priestess. This is that person still trying to hold on to you and trying to hold you back, trying to keep you bound and stuck to them, stuck and stagnant is what I heard in my mind's eye. And Spirit is saying it's time to use your, your own scissors to cut that cord. This is full moon in Scorpio. This is your energy. So this is definitely that transformative energy. It's about a change. It's about a shift. It's about f setting yourself free. And that's why um, patience is showing up so much because, you know, it, it requires patience so that you can you can take action um, in a very effective way. You know what I'm talking about? So it's like, you know, someone may not want to just be um, reactionary. They may be sitting around and, and really trying to plan or strategize how to exit a particular relationship that may be very toxic. What we have playing right now is Fela Kuti, and this is called Lady. So perhaps this is a feminine energy that really needs to take the time to assess uh, whatever it is that they are going to be embarking upon, um, because there could be, you know, some negative energy lingering. Um, maybe there is a lady priestess, you know, a high priestess that could be, you know, potentially trying to manipulate someone's energy. Uh, so with it's time to release, you know, this, this, um, negativity, uh, that could also be speaking to, as I said, um, your own thoughts, the way that you're looking at things, uh, because the six is your intuition. So when, when you are intuitive, you are aware, um, of things on a deeper level. Uh, your intuition is, is literally like, it's like a compass. It's a gauge. It, it, you're able to, you know, feel the energy of the people around you or of certain situations. Um, so many of you may be empaths and psychics and intuitives and spirits telling you trust that. Um, and when you do trust that, that allows for you to release the negativity, meaning you are now able to, to move away from, from whatever wasn't served you because I'm getting like, the six of swords where you're now able to, you know, create a safe space, a sacred space for yourself. And now that's when, you know, you, you start to experience victories and success because you don't have that, 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 uh, negative energy holding you back or anchoring you in any way. So with your dreams need a practical plan. I also feel that's another reason why the patience is showing up because it's really about taking the time to sit at the drawing board and to assess and analyze and strategize whatever it is you're going to be embarking upon. Oh, wow. That's powerful. So your dreams need a practical plan. It's still here in the bottom of the deck. And the cards that flew out, it says bring love into the situation. So your angels and your guides are absolutely uh, aligning you with your divine counterpart. And there is others in the equation. And that's why spirit is saying to choose wisely because that other could be that deceptive and envious person. Next card we have is a time for healing. So that could be another reason why all of the patience is here is because you do have to heal thyself. You cannot rebound when it comes to love. When it comes to love, jumping out of one toxic relationship and hopping into another, that is, that, that's a recipe for destruction. And so 
with this time for healing that's why spirit is saying it's time to really um you know to really purify your energy rejuvenate your energy recharge recover from the past and also this allows you to purge to release to cleanse yourself as you take that time um, sitting by that body of water, you gain more uh, understanding of you. You're able to also uh, connect and tap to your tap into your intuition as well. Um, so it's really about you know you got to be like I said, you got to heal that self in order to love that self. So the next card you have is a fiery climax approaches. So someone very beautiful, someone that you have strong passion and attraction to is coming into your life. And we have work through your fears. So I always say, be fearless. Fear is nothing more than false expectations appearing real, false evidence appearing real. This is also about you confronting your fears you know the only way you could get out of a situation is going through it so if there are certain things that are hindering you even if, the, if this is your own fear because that's why the surrender is here maybe you all are so guarded because of your fear of being hurt again that will never happen again because you've learned your lessons when you learn your lesson when you genuinely learn the lesson it won't repeat itself you know what i'm talking about that's why that that intuition is there you have to trust that gumption because that leads you the into the right directions when you don't trust it you go against your intuition or you go against whatever your gut instinct told you to do that's when you fall into the trap of whatever devil is 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 setting for you so it's about trusting your gumption trusting that inner gumption and working through your own fears um because when you have fears then that is evidence that you have some work that you need to be focusing on and perhaps that's why the patience is here because there's still some work you all need to to do um before you enter into a relationship but there's absolutely a spiritual partnership that you all will be um coming into so let's tap in let's tap in let's go get go and get some messages from i want to get the dark grimoire being as though that deceptive and and um envious card came out i want to see what's looming you know what's hidden behind the scenes so we have um look at that the strength card so what was i just saying about confronting your fears being fearless and this is what you're doing now you know so you're confronting your fears and she's in the face of this big demon you know so that shows the strength that shows you taking your power back that also shows that you have braved your light in a lot of um situations oh wow okay i'm sorry i was just nosy i wanted to see what was on the bottom of the deck all right so let's tap in so what we have on the split is we have seven of chalices and strength see that so i feel like you know for for many of you um there's going to be a lot of options there's going to be a lot of choices because the seven of cups if you have you know think of the traditional tarot seven of cups there's like a lot of cups and then there's someone there kind of trying to choose trying to make a decision and that's just you know kind of veggie backing off of you know this choose wisely card um that's literally the same type of energy it's like there's going to be a choice there's going to be a decision and didn't i say you had a high priest or high priestess there so this person is trying to make you feel like, you know, they're one of the good options that you should select and choose where well, spirit is telling you choose wisely because whomever this is, this could be someone doing some sort of candle magic, mirror magic, witchcraft, spell work, um, trying to manipulate your energy. Uh, and you have to use your own intuition and discernment. So very powerful messages coming through. And we have the nine of chalices. See that? So you have, you know, turned your back on someone. And this is the epitome of self-love, self-worth, self-care. When you think of the nine of cups, um, that's really someone that knows their worth and value. And that's also someone that's established those boundaries. They're not just opened as they were in the past. Whomever this is, is taking um taking that very personal hence them feeling very deceptive and feeling very de um envious of you so you your cards were chosen so these cards flew out but i want to show you the ten of swords so this is what this person has caused in the past this is even what they may be trying to cause you in your future and if you look this is the ten um of swords and this could be as i said like that past person you were with past uh you know, an ex, a karmic husband, a wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, fiance, whomever this is, Ish got really, really toxic. This monster 
has outgrown the house. So it's like there, there was just so many um, lies, so many backstab. You know, it's just like the the lies just um, became, grew grew bigger. It's like this person was just so deceptive, so dishonest and toxic. And I feel like, you know, this is definitely uh, someone that betrayed you in your past. Um, so let's tap in. So let's get the messages that came out. So the first card we have. And so we have the world. And remember, I was breaking down the world. So this world card is showing that you have absolutely grown. You've matured. You've graduated. This is a card of ascension. This is saying that you have learned how to navigate this dimension, this reality. You've also learned how to navigate tough situations. And you've overcome a lot of obstacles in your life. And for that, now you're wiser. You also have established boundaries as necessary. And that's the reason why the spiritual partnership, this triumphant success, along with the energy is gaining momentum because there's a cycle wrapping up this completion here. Something has come full circle and you have elevated in your consciousness. You've gained that awareness. Um, you've also learned to become that magi, that alchemist. You've also um, become you know, as someone who has reached that level of self mastery, even. Um, so you've gained and, you know, have achieved some sort of deeper understanding of yourself. Um, she's holding a book and books always denote knowledge. So you're wiser. You, you, uh, have wise dome now. And I also see that there is a spiritual, emotional, you know, um, and psychological, uh, wise dome that you have obtained you've re received some sort of spiritual mental emotional um power gifts talents um you've you've overcome these demons you you've definitely the, it's almost like these are the demons that you've defeated you know you've had to you know you had to cut these you know whether these were your own demons whether these were people around you but you definitely cut yourself free from people places and things that were not um that were not honoring you, that were not serving your highest good, that didn't appreciate you, value you, um, love you the way you deserved as well. So what we have next is we have the lovers. I can't make this up. So we have the lovers here. So as I said, with this 87 synchronicity, the one awareness, and then we have a win-win outcome. This is what you're attracting to you. And we have the lovers. So this is like a union. And if you look off in the distance, there's another person there. And so this could be that third wheel, that person um, that is, you know, trying to sabotage that person was, that was deceptive and envious of, you know, this divine and sacred and spiritual partnership that you are developing with your true love, with your, uh, you know, your cosmic companion. This is someone that you have that equal give and take. This is that person that brings balance into your life. And whomever you're attracting to you, they see you for everything that uh, you are. It's like they see themselves in you. Um, you may see yourself in them uh, because there will be so many commonalities and so many things that connect you on other levels. It's beyond just physical attraction. There's stimulation mentally, emotionally, spiritually. You'll be on the same page. Uh, and this awareness will become so, so obvious that it's like the two of you are, you know, um, just drawn to each other, uh, the chemistry in the synergy. So this is a beautiful connection here. Um, that could also just represent you coming into harmony with yourself as well. So what we have here is the five pentacles, and this is how someone feels about you. Um, and this is, you know, that energy of someone who, uh, could have, definitely been going through some sort of like they may have had addictions or afflictions because there's like a liquor bottle there and if he's looking out from this tunnel and he's seeing you know all of these you know whenever i see people who are um hooded or when you know i always get a sense of like a sinister type of energy someone not really concealing or revealing their true and authentic selves and you know this could be a depiction of your journey feeling left out in the cold um feeling abandoned even um you know, even being, you know, somewhat codependent in a relationship, but now it's like you're looking out, um, 
and on to a situation that you may have very well been a part of, you know, this group think, you know, this hive mentality at one point in time. And now you're able to see things clearly because you have taken the necessary time out from, you know, engaging in this energy. And if you look closely, there are monsters and demons that are, you know, kind of controlling this crowd. So it's like these are those same monsters that you had to confront and brave. Some of you may have suffered from your own addictions. Maybe you started to self-medicate, uh, you know, um, by smoking a lot of marijuana or drinking a lot, you know, take sipping, you know, wine. It's like wine is good, uh, but to a degree, anything that you do, um, you could do excessively and it will become bad for you. But it could genuinely be something, um, you know, that you all have had to overcome, like some sort of addictions and afflictions and codependencies. And you had to gain that confidence and that self-love within yourself. But there was definitely times uh, that you had to um, really confront whatever it was that you were experiencing, um, hence you doing, you know, that root work. So this took you back to getting to the root cause, getting to the root of to the tutor, so to speak. And this five of pentacles shows like, you know, really feeling abandoned, really feeling uh, betrayed, backstabbed, uh, left out in the cold, but you've overcome all of that. This is how they see you um, as someone who's overcome those, those experiences. So what we have here is nine of chalices. This is what's hidden. So this is how you feel this is like that's that energy of being selfish loving me myself and i and when you focus on yourself and you you display that self-discipline that's encompassing of self-love self-worth self-value that's when you start having the victories and the success because you have you know rid yourself of the negativity that was hindering you and blocking you from having that peace and that happiness uh this ten of swords is literally you know the end of a cycle of deception and betrayal and lies and even self-deception um you know this is really like you know that 10 reduces to one so that's the you know this ace of swords now cutting yourself free from the people places and things even all of the negative um things that were holding you back your own fears even so divine spirit of peace power and protection this is the last message we're going to wrap it up so as is 91 surrender financial discipline um what is that planning and preparing choose wisely so this card is kind of sticking out and i'm gonna take it and what's the outcome so we have the queen of swords so this is that energy that's the queen of swords when you go through that dark night of the soul journey or when you go through any transformative experience even if it was like the demise of a relationship anything that has um, caused pain and suffering in your life um, Scorpios naturally will uh, take on that energy of the Queen of Swords because now you see things clearly. Now you're more uh, prepared to cut things out of your life that don't serve you or honor you because you've learned from those uh, painful lessons. You've learned from those karmic lessons. And so now you are here like anybody could get the business. Uh, you've chopped off a lot of folks. You can see that you've, you know, you, you, you've collected some heads. So it's like you are on your Wu-Tang uh, protect your neck. Um, but you've transformed into this queen of swords. You can see that she has like a, you know, snake on the sword and the sword represents like, um, it represents change because if you think of a snake not only does that represent you know a, a very conniving sneaky um, manipulative energy but it also represents the change that you have made so you're no longer allowing people to play and toy with your emotions your feelings or insult your intelligence uh, the moment you sense red flags the moment you seek um, or sense any type of deception uh, you're cutting that energy off cutting it off quickly expeditiously um and you're, you're not playing you know you, you're saying what you mean you're meaning what you say um and we also have the queen of pentacles so your your focus now remember we had that financial discipline on your coins your stability your security i feel like you achieve some level of stability and security as well um in your goals and your endeavors uh someone sees your worth and value we also have temperance here 
and we have yeah so yeah this queen of pentacles is just showing showing that you, instead of focusing on hurt and pain you started to refocus and channel your energy on building um your own you know sense and foundation of independence of security so that you could be happier uh and that's the reason why um i feel like you're now becoming more attractive because of all of the work you've done on yourself beloved so this was a beautiful reading spirits telling me to not end it here i'm going to use these cards uh they have initials or letters they have angels and then they have numbers so we're going to see what we could get from this deck on the bottom of the deck it's two so this is really about you know trusting um um you know this is about a decision or a choice uh but this is also that same energy of that that high priestess so trust your intuition you know uh, especially when it comes to a choice or decision that needs to be made ashe so let's tap in so okay we got the letter h so i get healing from that i also heard harry um, I'm also hearing health. So focus on your health and wellness. Um, you know, it's time to get out. It's time to start moving. We're getting older. Everyone's getting older. Even if you young and you cute and you, you in shape, continue to, to nurture that your health and wellness, put that on the, 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 the um, that should be like the most important, uh, goal. <laughs> uh, so to speak, I'm losing my train of thought, but it's like, you know, your health should be at the top of the list, you know, in other words, like your health and your wellness, your health and your wellness is not just about how you look on the outside is also what's going on in the inside. So this is about what you're eating. This is about what you're drinking. This is about what you're listening to, what you're watching. Um, this is about all of those things. So it's time to start being healthier. Um, but I'm also hearing the word Helen, the name Helen. Um, I heard Harry, Helen. Um, I'm hearing history. So someone is your, a part of your history. And then I'm hearing her story, his story. So there's always two sides of the story, you know, and that's why I'm saying, that's why I was saying earlier, I was expounding on, you know, it's, it's not anyone else's responsibility to help your healing process. And like, nobody needs to come back and give nobody closure. Nobody owes anyone anything. Um, it would be kind, it would be the kind thing to do. It would be dope if everybody was emotionally mature enough to realize like, oh, I've hurt someone. Let me apologize or let me take onus and ac accountability for what I've done. But what definitely, um, you know, what will definitely uh, change that is if you just take onus yourself and just you heal you, you know, so healing. Healing is very important. We did see that healing card, uh, but I did hear health. Uh, I feel some of you all also um, is like your, your your frequency. It's like you're you're gaining a more deeper understanding. So your frequency is is raising. It's like you're in a higher frequency, higher vibration. You're happier. I'm hearing happy. That's beautiful. Okay, so let's tap in. Let's see what else we have. So divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. What messages? Thank you. So we have the number nine, highest number of change. Some of you could have been born on October 27th or October. Um, what, what do we have? October 27th, um, November 9th, 11 to 9. I feel like um, there's a, a change that is... Uh, a Bruin. <laughs> I heard a Bruin. So there's definitely changes a brewing. I'm also hearing like wish fulfillments are coming in and blessings. Someone could be a uh, life path number nine. Someone may live on the ninth floor in apartment number nine. Uh, someone may have. Um, I just feel someone is definitely like. You know, this is just telling me like single, you know, very single, independent, self-sufficient, been really working on yourselves, kind of reserved, you know, in that hermit mode also. So what else we have? We have, this is, um, I'm getting, I get, this could be seen as the letter O or the number zero. So I'm hearing October. Some of you are October Scorpios. I'm hearing in October, something can change, you know, 
I feel like a lot of you will be very happy. I feel something has also come full circle as well. So it's the completion, the wrap, you're wrapping up a cycle. I'm also hearing the word optimistic. Be optimistic about your future. Be optimistic about opportunities. Opportunities are going to be opening up for you. I'm hearing observe. Remember to observe. To you know, Don't just jump into situations. Sit back, observe for a while. You know what I'm saying? Get a feel for the energy. Get a feel for the people that you will be around. I'm here in Oktoberfest, so I don't know if somebody's going to like Germany or somebody may be from Germany, but I'm here in Oktoberfest. I think that's like where they just have like these beer. I, I don't know. I heard Oktoberfest. Excuse me, but I'm here in Observe. Um, I'm hearing Opportunities. I'm here in Oliver, Olivia. Someone's name could be Oliver or Olivia. And I heard Grandmother, so I don't know if someone had a grandmother named Olivia. And then I'm also hearing an opportunist. So beware, be mindful, be a uh, um, you know, be aware of an opportunist, a potential person coming in. Uh, you know, because with all those cards that said recognition and rewards and victories and success, and you had um spiritual and uh material prosperity, you had prosperity lies ahead. So that speaks to you having a lot of abundance and, and things flourishing for you. So there's gonna be some opportunists that may try to come back just so they, they can reap some of those benefits. Be mindful of that as well. And I'm also hearing over. It's over. It's done. It's finished. It's kaput. Leave it alone. Let it go. Let it flow. Like I'm hearing it's over. It's done. It's, you know, so it's like if somebody comes back, it's like know that it's over. They have nothing to offer you. Like I feel like the, the whomever you learn those lessons from, they came into your life just solely to teach you those lessons. Even if this is someone that became like the mother or father to your child, they were someone to teach you lessons so that you can get to the next level. Everybody ain't, isn't meant to go the distance with you. So it's over. And, and just accept that. Maybe this is something they need to accept, is that it's over. You know? But that doesn't mean that you cannot, um, you know, still be um, open to being, uh, you know, friendly with that person or um, being, how do you say, uh, being, um, what is the word I'm looking for? I can't even find the word right now. Just just being more um being more open to having a more civilized a civilized um connection for the sake of the children perhaps. Be open. Like don't close yourself up. Just be open because when you're open that allows the healing. When you just close off, clam up, there's still, there, it's like you've never healed whatever that emotion is. So it's like technically you haven't healed it. It's still there waiting to be dealt with. It's still waiting to be, you know, resolved, whatever the issues that are there. So it's like still be open to the healing, still be open to, you know, the process. Ashe. So let's tap in, beloveds. What additional message? I'm going to pull five messages. All right. So we have N. So I'm hearing no, and I see no. I'm seeing nah, I'm hearing nah, nah. <laughs> and remember that meme a couple of years ago? You know what I'm saying? It says, um, it was like a meme that was going on like nah. I can't even remember the meme, but I was seeing that meme in my mind's eye. But I'm hearing Nancy, Nicole, Nikki, Noel. I'm hearing November also. Some of you are November um, Scorpios. Born on November 9th, born on November 6th. I'm hearing Nivea. I don't know if somebody's name is Nivea. I'm also hearing never say never, you know? So some of you could be saying, like, I'm never falling in love, especially after this divorce. I'm never getting married again. Spirit's like, never say never. Because you don't know what's coming. And also, like, someone is really, like, um... A very negative, you know, and that's why spirit is also like telling you to trust like your intuition, you know, because there's, there's a very negative person, you know, someone sees you in a negative light, but that's really a reflection of them. You know, they're, they're projecting onto you. So it's like, they're, they're like, it's like they're dragging your name in the mud, you know, but it reflects more on them than it does you. 
It's like everything that they see in you is like, that's why that deception card and that envy card is like everything they see in you, they aspire to be. You know, even like the fact that you've come out of some difficult circumstances, it's like you may have even have had, you know, like, I don't want to call them friends because true friends won't be envious or jealous of a friend. You know, they'll be understanding, they'll be supportive, they'll have your back, middle, and front, side, up, down, whatever. But this is like that person that perhaps, you know, you may have had in your life and it's like as long as things were a train wreck for you is like they're there and they're always acting like you know they're so supportive and but it's like the moment things started to shift and turn around for the better it's like they're no longer around they no longer have the time it's like they was just relishing in in the pain that you were um experiencing you know this is someone that was kind of like you know it was like they found joy in it almost it was like they they loved that they like to sit around and gossip about all the bad things but now that things are improving and now that you're more spiritual and now that you've made these positive changes like they have no time or they they don't want to be around you something has changed and shift that's a negative energy that was a hater all along basically is what i'm saying and then we have k and i heard king i hear some of you masculines you're kinging right now you know you're kinging you know your worth you've gained knowledge of self you know the ledge now. That's powerful. I'm also hearing um, Keisha. I'm hearing Karen. Some of y'all dealt with a couple of Karens. Maybe you was at a grocery store or even in your neighborhood and there was a Karen minding your business. You know, Karen or a Ken. <laughs> You know, and it's like ign ignorance. Never like that's one thing that also came is like, um, be very mindful not to engage low vibrational energy because they're just trying to get you to lower, you know, like you can never beat the devil at his game, so to speak. You know what I'm talking about? So it's like you like never stoop to anyone's level. Just just don't engage. Because you have the knowledge. You already have the knowledge yourself. You've, you've obtained, you know, you know thyself now. You've obtained that. And we know that because you have the world card. So that's like that level of graduation. And what we have playing right now is we have um, Lonnie Liston Smith. And this is called Astral Travel. Astral Travel. So some of you may have obtained the knowledge as to how to astral travel. You may have been astral traveling. I'm hearing Kenneth, Kyle, I'm hearing Craig, there's some Craigs that are spelled with a K, and I'm also hearing keep it moving, keep it moving, you know? All right, so one more message. I said I was going to get <laughs> five messages, but I feel like one more. One more, and then we're going to wrap it up. All right, and who do we have? We have Mary Magdalene, beloved. So there's a miracle. There is a miracle coming in. In one of my decks, Mary Magdalene promises that a miracle will be granted, and I want to show you. So Mary Magdalene, Magdalene is blessing you all with a miracle. There is a miracle that is absolutely coming in and that's why spirit is making it you know very um obvious that you need to be patient and to not rush into anything because you're you're drawing more you know you're getting more impatient it's about patience is a form of action you know so Mary Magdalene is promising that there is a miracle that is taking place there's a blessing you know See that? Mother Mary. So she's blessing you with a miracle. It says, have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. Expect a miracle. So I felt like I wanted to get one more message. You know, six is the number that we started the reading off. So it just only makes sense to get an additional message. So that's why you have the victories and success. That six is very indicative of that as well. 
is victory, success, breakthroughs. So that's what you have. Remember, you also had this six here. So victories, breakthroughs, success. The train is going by, so you will be traveling. Phil is taking you to new heights. So this is beautiful, my beautiful Scorpios. I hope this message resonated, and I hope you appreciated that you had another bonus reading, beloveds. But enjoy the rest of your solar return, your strong end. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. If you are new, beloveds, I've recently opened myself up to start accepting um, or doing um, personal consultations. So if you are interested in that, check my description box below. Um, you could even click on the link to my Etsy shop and you can now book your consultation there I offer three different types of readings I have an emergency reading and then I have a one hour reading and then a two hour deep dive reading um, and it's all pretty easy to set up on the um, Etsy shop what I will do is I will record pre-record your reading and then I will uh, send you the link so that you can access it um, but I do thank you all for tuning and tapping in I hope that the message is resonated I hope that my energy the reading Reading resonated. I hope that the way that I read vibes with your energy to all my beloveds that turn it, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. I appreciate you all. I thank you all for everything you do. And until next time, mwah, have a blessed day, y'all. Love you. Peace.